What's up? What's wrong? Uh, you know, doing the show tonight. That's right, tonight you're your first time? Yeah. Oh my god, you excited? Yeah. Hey, Bob's letting you open for him in your first time. How are you feeling? <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. Yeah. You'll be all right. Well, it's easy for you to say you've been doing this forever. Yeah. Don't you remember your first time? I mean, come on. You yeah, that was a dick. No, I'm talking about comedy. Oh. Yeah, that was a dick, too. George, listen. Just call. What do you do to relax? Do something to relax. Polka? Polka? You get up and do some dancing no, 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 no. I, in the I, green room? The no, no, the accordion. You play the accordion? No, no, I, I love the accordion. It relaxes me. Oh. Well, all right. Listen to your accordion. He's like, he's a friend of the club, and uh, we think he's hilarious. He's all around here all the time. He's never been, uh, he's never been on stage before, uh, but... You guys, I think you're gonna like him. Um, I don't know how this is gonna go, really, but um, <laughs> he's a little nervous, but uh, welcome to the stage, George Thomas. Thanks for the hand. <laughs> so, uh, I, uh, I used to be a professional boxer. I had to get out. I was a sucker for a left hook. People were rude to me sometimes. For Christmas, someone bought me one of those clap on, clap off or things. For two weeks, I went like this, you know. I had a dot in my head. I was right open to 7 Eleven, you know. <laughs> Things are going good since I, I, I lost my arm. I, I want a raffle. I want a car. Stick shift. <laughs> Too bad I don't live in England, you know. It's, it's, it's on the other side. So. I, uh, I play sports, I golf, you know, and uh, a lot of people ask me where my handicap is. So what do you think, carrying a bag, prick? I, uh, I fish, I love to fish. I caught a fish the other day this big. No, a little nervous today. And they told me they're gonna give me a shot, you know. And um, I've been practicing, you know. And uh, tonight I practiced in front of a mirror, and my reflection got up and walked out. <laughs> but you know, do you know how? Uh, do you know how like in the? Uh, like a puppy, you know, when a puppy, you know, gets really excited, you know, and, and nervous, and, and pees. I'm peeing. Um, well, I read in the book, the, well, you know, when you get up and you, you're nervous, imagine everybody out there nude, and, and, and looking out there, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> You know who you are? <laughs> well, let me tell you how this happened before I get out of here. I appreciate you giving me a shot. Um, I was driving, I broke down, you know, and the mechanic wanted to charge me an arm and a leg. <laughs> Good thing I had that coupon. Everybody, one more round of applause. Yes. Everybody's like kind of confused, and then there's one guy in the back cackling hysterically. He's like, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, 
from the Tonight Show and Goodfellas. Welcome to the stage, Bob Gollum, everybody. So I used to be a professional boxer. <laughs> and I got out as a sucker for a right hook. You know, I did this routine New Year's Eve and no one noticed the difference. <laughs> I'll tell you where this comes in handy, man. You've been on the strip every 10 seconds, they want to shove a piece of paper in your face, go some strip joint every second like this. Then they make that sound, you know? <laughs> You don't want to do it any longer, do this. Walk up to him like this. <laughs> I can't have one? <laughs> Put between my legs. Mucho you call down there. Mucho. <laughs> I love messing with people, man. I'm in the elevator today by myself. This couple come in, they're dressed to go out to eat. The lady was smelling real nice. And she says, excuse me, sir. Can you tell me a nice restaurant to eat at? And I says, uh, I don't speak English. <laughs> well, you just spoke English. So that's the only thing I know? <laughs> I think New York City had the best bums in the world, but Vegas, Get some pretty good bums, man. The guy come up, he goes, hey, buddy, you got an extra quarter? So I ain't got no money. Looks me right in the eye and says, well, get a job. <laughs> Who, me? So I robbed him. <laughs> I got a job now, you loser. <laughs> and they love to stand in line in Vegas, right? I tell you what, get three people, stand behind each other. An hour later, you have 500 people standing <laughs> on. Hey, what's going on up there? I don't know, something's going on. We'll be cutting in front of me, I'll be there first. I need tickets for that one-armed guy, I don't know. <laughs> so I go down a block, this guy hits me up for five bucks. I said, yo, five dollars. He goes, man. I'm a TSA agent. Oh. I said, oh, yeah, I feel bad for you, man. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you some money, but you got to take off your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I want to get my socks dirty. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you got to watch what you buy on the street out here, you know. I bought this bootleg tape, you know, DVD of The Help. Anyone see the movie The Help? Yep. Was it good? No, oh, great, because I paid a dollar for it. I went home and watched it, and it was a bunch of Mexican hanging outside of Home Depot. <laughs> Polish. You want to talk about double standard? I'm Polish. Everyone does Polish jokes. A Jewish comic come on stage do a Polish joke, it's okay. A black comic come on stage do a Polish joke, it's okay. If I do a black joke or a Jewish joke, it's considered racist, which is bullshit because everyone does Polish jokes. Jews, Irish, blacks, Italians, Mexicans, people in China going, oh, our two Polish got locked to a bar. We fucking get it from everybody. But I, um, we got to, well, you know, everything's in 3D now, you know. Everything's in 3D. Even porno's in 3D. I saw a porno called Coming At You. I'm telling you, that black guy turned around, the whole audience ducked. Holy oh, yeah. Did you see that black hair? I'm gonna eat that $12 popcorn. <laughs> there it comes. One of the big shots come to me before my show and said, listen, I gotta talk to you. Last time you were here, there were complaints 
So whatever you do this week, don't swear, don't be dirty, because we don't want you to offend the audience. Now, I've never wanted to offend anybody that's gambling, smoking, drinking, and banging whores. No, geez. I wouldn't want to offend you people, you know. Because you know you can't pick up a hooker no more. Do you know that, sir? It's true. Those guys, they dress up like women. They strap it up, they put on a dress, and you don't know what you're going to get. I'm going to tell you something, folks. If somebody was going on to me at that point, I don't want to know if it's a guy. I don't want to be having a good time, reach down and go, oh, 50 bucks? <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> hey, I dropped the 50. I'm finishing. I'll tell you that right now. It's my money, not your money. But I'm flying here, and uh, I'm stuck on a plane next to, next to somebody that really ranks. You ever been in that situation, right, where someone smells so bad, you gotta check yourself? <laughs> not me. I know it ain't me. Do people walk by and they get a whiff? Goes, no, me, it was this stinky guy right here, man. Don't you wash your butt before you get on a plane? Do me a favor, go to the bath, you know, a little soap, shove it up there, do something, man. I don't know if you know this, but you could take insurance out on your flight. Anyone know this? It's like $5. If the plane crashes and you die, you collect $100,000. You finally hit, you can't collect. <laughs> it's like betting, it's like gambling. You don't think if the insurance company is going to let you bet on your flight, why don't they let you bet on flights you're not on? <laughs> you go to the airport, yeah, let me get five on flight 64 there. <laughs> Let me get five on flight 98. The heck with it, give me 100 across the boards. There's people at the airport, come on, 1198, go down, 1198. Did it land? <clears throat> I should've took you over and under. There's people getting on in the room next to me last night. You ever been in a situation? And they were loud, man. They're tearing up and this guy's going, oh, baby. She's like, oh, oh, and he's like, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, and I'm pissed now because like four in the morning and I'm alone. So I go to the wall and I start throwing my own sounds back in. He's like, oh, baby. Oh, and, like, oh. and I'm like, oh, I'll smack my ass, you bitch. <laughs> They're not going to outdo me. I sure threw some other sounds like, ah. So you like magicians? You like magicians? Yeah, I'm not a big fan. I like that close-up magic. That's really cool, you know? But these magicians in Vegas, they take themselves so serious. It's like... Just so slick, you know. You know the worst is M magic on TV. Magic on TV. They think they're so cool. Like a city has disappeared. It's TV. <laughs> Be witch. She's been doing this since the '60s. You want to impress magicians? Pull a rabbit out of your butt. A white rabbit and keep it white. <laughs> Now, I'll pay to see that. I had this magician, this magician come up to me and goes, hey man, I don't like the way you make fun of magicians. And I said, well, make me disappear. You give me obscure town anywhere in this country, I'll give you a street in that town. Go ahead, throw it out. Beaumont. Where? Beaumont. Main Street. 
<laughs> well, you, go, uh, there's no, you, you mean Beaumont, Texas? Uh, right? Yeah. You tell me there's no Main Street there? Yeah, everybody got a Main Street. That's the joke. <laughs> you hear that accent too? Everybody got Main Street. <laughs> got them. You said that so fine too, but everybody got main straight. You almost sound like a black Forrest Gump. Well, he's black. Don't loosen up, white people. Was he gonna riot? There's one of them. Damn, white people are so nervous, man. That's a black name, by the way. Ain't no white girl named Sharita. I'll tell you that shit right now. You ever been with a white guy? You know what they say once you go white. It's all right. <laughs> I see you say, what's on that white shit tonight, don't you? I knocked the bottom out now, yeah. Sharita. But Sharita, I do a lot of flying, man. I do a lot of flying. And I was over in Japan, I was doing the military bases, which was great, because I was able to get my VCR fixed on the subway over there, you know. And uh, I got, you know, I got my first passport. You got to get your picture taken. Would give me an idea. Next time you get your driver's license, you got to get your picture taken. Before you get taken, get drunk, get wasted. This way you could drink and drive. <laughs> Cop pulls your look at you, you going now, and boy looks at your license. <laughs> All right, go ahead. <laughs> but I do a lot of flying ever since the movie Alive. I always want to check out who I want to eat in case we crash, you know? I went up to this lady, I said, I want you to know if we crash, I'm gonna eat you. She said, why wait for the crash? <laughs> now you want me, Sharita, don't you? You know, black guys don't do that, you know that. Black guys don't eat pussy unless it's fried, you know that shit. <laughs> Bell <Bell-mo. laughs> There's two things that control this world. Money and sex. Case closed. If you're a woman, you got an ace in the hole. If you're good looking, you've got two aces in the hole. Because yeah. you get laid anytime you want. You realize that? Because you got what we want. We're horny, you got it, you fight it, you know you want it. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, you could be 800 pounds, one tooth, one eye, and a guy will fuck you and justify it the next day. Go <laughs> share a nice tooth. Did you like the blues? Yeah. I like the blues, all right. This is my impression of a drunk blues singer, which is kind of redundant a little bit, right? What's your name? Come, you come up here, man. What's your name, man? Uh, I need a little help. Come on up here, brother. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come get up here. Yeah. That's you. All right, you're going to do a little blues number with me, all right? Here we go. I got to get you some, oh, I gotta get you some glasses. You got to get some glasses here. Ready to go? <laughs> but you're, dr- you're a drunk blues singer. That's why you're going to have that. Get over here. Get on this one here. Get on this one over here. Get over here. No, it's, it's his birthday. I don't care who. Yo, let me. Here, uh, we'll do it. I'm at Denny's. I ain't doing no birthday stuff. Put the glasses on, man. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, look. <laughs> <Man. laughs> hey, it's my show, man. I'll tell you when to say what. <laughs> All right, so that's why the lens misses because you're a drunk blue singer, right? So yes. did you dress up for the birthday or you just always dress up like that? Because I, I thought you were the maitre d' at first. <laughs> All right, you ready? 
Come on, get some rhythm, man. You're black, man. Get some of that rhythm, man. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, man, are you black? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm mixed. I'm mixed. <laughs> oh, I, I can tell. Well, you know what? You're singing from the white side now. <laughs> Let the black side come out. <laughs> All right, now watch out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There you go. Get, get into it. Pretend like you, like you had the best food in your life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. right. Just pretend. <laughs> just pretend you just had, you just, oh, you had some good sex. Uh, and you're going, mm-hmm. I'm with you, I got you. Uh, you got me, right? We cool? <laughs> See, I had to bring up the sex and bang, he got it. Your boyfriend will be so happy. <laughs> hey, yo, put, put, yo, you gotta leave the, oh, seriously, you gotta put the glass on your blues singer, man. All right, All right you ready? All right. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you that. All right, so you're gonna help, hold up, don't go nowhere. All right, now you gotta help out. There's gonna be a bing bang boom, all right? I'm Polish, but it almost sound Italian. Bing bang boom. See, I grab myself a lot when I talk. See, a lot of people think it's a black thing or Italian thing. I'm Polish. I got four brothers and three sisters. All my brothers do this when they talk. My sisters do this. I said, Cindy, you're going to my mom's. Y'all see you over there. You're taking the kids. Y'all both of them, all right? All right, put those things on, man. All right, you ready? Bang, boom. <laughs> no, you're doing. You're, follow me. You know what? Now I'm gonna go back to jail. I, I tell you right now. Come on, you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what you just did. That eh? I want that in the voice. Uh, Bring go. that out. Look at me. Look at me when I'm talking. Now go. Look at me. <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> I want you, I want you, uh, I want to come from here, come out, bang. All right? And then they're going to follow, right? Yeah. All right, ready. Right. <laughs> no, God damn it! No! I go first, he goes second, then you go. Jeez! One... Two, three. Ready? All right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Give yourself a hand. All right, buddy. Good job, man. Give my glasses back now. Get out of here. Good job. Anyone from California here? Yeah. Well, for the people that aren't from California, they have what they call pedestrians have the right of way. Now what that means, as soon as you step off the street, a car got to stop. Now let me ask you something. If you're not from California, you got a 3,000 pound car. Someone's 150 pounds. Who should have the right of way? And what they do is, look, here's, I'm fair, all right? Look, if you're in that crosswalk and the light's red, I'll stop. But if you're outside that crosswalk and the light's green, Fair friggin' game. <laughs> I see this woman, she walking across the street, not even looking at me, texting. Texting, not even looking at me. You ever experienced this? Yep. I'm driving and I'm texting. Uh. <laughs> I got hit by a truck, man. I got hit by an 18-wheel semi-truck. The guy come along, hit me in the back of my car, PAM! Knocking the guard, I'm spinning in my car. I got my friend in the car who's a lawyer named Rob Goldstein, right? And we're spinning, he's going 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. Which reminds me, I gotta get some health insurance. What's your name, buddy? What's your name? You, yes. You got good health, you got health insurance? I do. You got a good handshake. Must make yourself very happy. <laughs> I gotta get some health insurance. I go to a doctor the other day, get a physical, $300 for a physical. All it does is take my blood pressure, puts his thumb on my butt. 
Oh, I tipped him 20 and moved it around. <laughs> and I go to the emergency room because I have this splitting headache. I said, I better get this checked out. I'm waiting for 10 hours. I'm just about ready to go in the rush to stabbing victim ahead of me. Because see, it's like poker. See, a stabbing victim beats a splitting headache. A shotgun wound beats a stabbing victim. Unless it's been stabbed twice, that's a pair, that beats a shotgun wound. So if it's been stabbed, shot, and you got the runs, that's a flush. <laughs> so I saw this thing on Oprah one time where these women were getting breast reductions. And I'm like, why? Guys would never get a penis reduction. You know, my penis is so big, I'm going to have to take like six or eight inches off. Because see, guys brag how big they are. Women don't do that. You know, my vagina's so big, you can shoot the space shuttle out of it. You never hear that. <laughs> but I saw this other thing on Oprah, man. I thought it was kind of cold. I wasn't right. Where the women were talking about when they went under for an operation, they thought the doctor fondled them. That ain't right. But let me tell you something, women. This never happens to men. We wouldn't complain. I mean, I'd never been in a dentist's office and woke up and go, you know, I think someone sucked my dick. <laughs> I'm going to kill somebody, man. I got a post boner. Folks, I'm not a religious person. I will tell you, I'm a very spiritual person. You know, like the, you know, the Christians that wear the cross, the Jews wear the star, Dave. You know what I wear? I wear the vagina. Because that's who I worship. And it is my maker. And I'm waiting for the second coming. You can laugh. It's okay. God has a sense of humor. Because if God didn't have a sense of humor, why can I grow hair underneath my arms, out of my ears, the back of my ass, but not fucking here? <laughs> God has a sense of humor. I got more hair on my ass than my fucking ass. I have an ass comb over. So I go to Disney. Anyone been to Disney uh, World or Disneyland? Yeah. yeah. Well, how much? Seventy dollars, right? right. Seventy dollars. That's what I pay. Ten of us, seven hundred dollars to wait two hours in line. You know what I'm saying? Spend the extra seventy. Take a handicapped person with you. You don't have to wait in line. I live in Southern California. Everyone has handicap stickers. This is true. Five years ago, the UCLA football team got caught with handicap stickers. So I'm jaded now. If I see someone pulling that spot, unless they open up the door and fall out with no legs and a hump on their back, I'm not buying it. <laughs> and now if you're over a certain weight, you're considered a handicap. Like 500 pounds, you're getting a short line in Disneyland. I'm waiting a long line, I'm looking over there, and then sweating everything, I'm sweating. I look over there, and they're eating. <laughs> Now, I did this yesterday. This lady gets up and walks out. I said, where are you going? She said, I don't like the way you're talking about handicapped people. I said, well, you missed it. It's how people exploit the handicapped people. But you seem like you're a little fucking slow, so why don't you get out of here? <laughs> this is true. There's a guy right here. He was in the front of the wheelchair. I said, sir, did I insult you? Did I embarrass you? He goes, hey, when are we going to Disneyland? <laughs> Right.